We've got one more day of uh, well, what feels like early summer out there. We should get into the 80s today, but we've got big changes coming in the you know, the shot across the bow was that round of rain that we had yesterday. It's not raining now. It's been dry this morning. The after effect was the dense fog that we had to deal with for a number of hours early this morning, and a lot of it was centered right where we saw some of the heaviest precipitation over the last 24 hours. Pretty good shot of rain that we needed about a half an inch to over an inch out towards E-Town. Now the folks that are the driest were the ones that received the least. Uh, this only registers at tenths of an inch or more. So, you know, you had a few hundredths of an inch uh, into our eastern counties, but a lot of southeastern Kentucky was out of it as far as the heavier precipitation went. There are more chances coming though. The max track, if you look east, that's all gone. If you go west, clearly something's up behind me. What it is is around the showers and storms coming our way. It's across Missouri. This batch will likely uh, continue to track east and start to fizzle a little bit. There's a severe thunderstorm warning just northwest of St. Louis there. Uh, but the main severe threat is out towards Oklahoma today. and does extend up into Illinois. We've got this marginal risk for severe storms. Notice how it cuts off here. This is the tail end of the round of storms that's going to blow in overnight. And then tomorrow as a cold front sweeps through, we'll have additional storms developing. So we've got a marginal risk Friday as well. It's a low end overall severe threat, but it's there both days. So it's something we do need to keep an eye on. Biggest concern would be some storms that could produce some stronger damaging wind gusts. We have a warm front draped across northern Kentucky. Here comes the low that's driving this mess, and here comes the initial round of storms likely weakening as it gets in here, uh, but could pack a punch into western counties late this evening, early tomorrow morning. That'll roll east. We'll catch a bit of a break and then into the afternoon. Here comes round two, and this will fire along the front. We'll have a little more daytime heating with breaks in the clouds to work with, plus the front itself forcing some of these storms to fire up. So I think if we see severe storms or at least a few that could produce some damaging wind gusts, that might be the better bet tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And then on the back end of all of this, we slowly start to dry out lingering low cloud cover and it is going to cool down big time for the uh, upcoming weekend. But even that's brief. 70s to 80s now. It's 81 in Richmond, 77 in Mount Sterling. We're in the 70s here. We're likely to get into the low to mid 80s today. Notice how cool it gets in the wake of that cold front coming through. But then you pop over to early next week and we're right back to around our average high. We're not doing the mid to upper 80s thing we were doing earlier this week and we will do today low to mid 80s. Uh, but the other benefit is the mugginess. Uh, it's going to get a little on the muggy side tomorrow. That's, of course, the moisture rising right along that front. And then it tanks on the back end of that cold front. Dew points in the 40s, an indication of some very dry air. It'll be a cool and unusually cool and dry weekend ahead. Temperatures mid 80s, low to mid 80s for highs today. We're showing that out around Frenchburg, West Liberty, here in the Bluegrass. You may hit some upper 80s into our southeastern counties. So again, this is the last day if you like this summer like heat uh, to get out and enjoy it. Of course, it's going to be back. Uh, no worries about that. But this is some early season stuff. Our average high is only in the upper 70s. Here's the eight day morning round of showers and storms, then that afternoon evening round and then the fronts through and we're done. Saturday really cool, but comfortable. I think I'm going to mow that day. Sunday low 70s by Monday. We're back in the upper 70s for Memorial Day. Pretty nice recovery. Some sunshine. We'll try to keep it dry until the next shower storm chance midweek.